What up, y'all? It's your boy Taker. Are y'all ready to complete the game and become the ultimate Wukong warrior? Well, I got you covered. I got to the final boss and went back to Erlang before finishing the game, so the build is the same. Check out the Erlang video for an in-depth build. I'll leave it in the description as well. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then, you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face the final ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name! For the final battle, you will essentially have four fights. Two with the Stone Monkey and two with Great Sage. Today we're going to take on the Stone Monkey, so use your spells, pills, and health wisely. To start, you can always get the first hit. Charge your focus points to four. I wait until he jumps to let it rip so I don't take damage. Step in, step out with the spinny spin spin to build focus. This boss slams the ground a lot, so try to stay in the air as much as possible. Big head baby. When he pauses and starts glowing, I make sure to have my focus up. This prevents us from having to dodge the pulses and get hits. When he disappears, watch the ripple in the water to know when he'll reappear. When he turns to stone, watch out for the grab and dodge away. When he starts to pound the ground, now's the time to get some distance and charge your heavy attack. That's phase one. At the beginning of phase two, he'll punch the ground three times. You can time your dodgers to not take damage. On the third time, he'll pause and let you do damage. Use your heavy. Sometimes you don't always get the hit. Here I'm using the fan to gain focus for heavy attack. Fight to build focus so you can use the fan and big head baby multiple times. Big head baby. When his health is about 60%, he'll put his hand on his head and the clone will come out. When the clone appears, you'll have to keep an eye on both. One will be doing a pulsing attack, the other one will be punching in the face. When he does a backflip, he'll tag the other guy in. What you'll notice in this fight, I only let my focus build up to 3 for that specific attack. I don't want to let it charge up to 4 because it's slower. If you get frozen, tap the buttons very quickly to break out of it. When he does the Johnny Storm FLAME ON! Watch the horizon, the pulse will come back.
When your gourd is low and you need health, use the ring of fire to build it. You also get the added benefit of building focus. Damn it, that hurts my soul. When it continuously pounds the ground, you can back away from your focus for a big hit. Spin it, spin, spin! When he goes blue and jumps and punches you, he'll freeze you. If you get frozen, wrap it and tap any button to break out. When he punches the ground and stays, pulses will come. You got lucky on that one. Use the life saving pill if you're really close and you need help. He's done. Stick a fork in him. That's it. Time for the next one. Check out the next video on the Great Sage. Or stick around and watch the cutscene.